In the previous video, we talked about populations, variables, and parameters. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between populations and samples, and the difference between parameters and statistics. In our last video, we used an example where a population was the apples at a grocery store, and one, our one of our variables was the weight of the apples. We mentioned that we might be interested in the average weight of apples at the grocery store. There are a few different ways we could do this. First, we could weigh every single apple, sum the weights, and divide it by the total number of apples to get the average weight. Another way would be to count all of the apples, then find a scale that was big enough to hold all of the apples at once, get the total weight, and divide it by the number. Either way, this seems like a lot of work. What if we did not need to know the exact average and an accurate estimate would be good enough? We could take what we call a sample of the apples or a selection of the apples. For example, say there were 5,000 apples at the grocery store. We use a capital letter N to symbolize the size of a population we might be able to get a fairly accurate estimate if we took a sample of 500 apples, weighed them, and calculated the average. We use a lowercase letter n to symbolize the size of a sample. In research, we almost always use samples of populations instead of whole populations. Usually, this is because it's not feasible to study every single member of a population that we are interested in. For example, Say we wanted to know whether a new drug did a better job of lowering blood pressure than a drug that is currently prescribed. We want to know if this is true for anyone with high blood pressure, and so our population of interest is everyone in the world with high blood pressure. It wouldn't make any sense to do a study that included every single person in the world with high blood pressure. Instead, we take a sample. Maybe it's patients at a particular hospital or clinic who have high blood pressure. Next, we are going to talk about the difference between parameters and statistics. Parameters are the numerical characteristics of variables and populations. So, if our population was apples at a grocery store and we calculated the average weight of all the apples in the population, this average would be a parameter. Statistics are the numerical characteristics of variables in samples. So if we took the average weight of a sample of the apples at the grocery store, this average would be a statistic. We use statistics to estimate parameters. Like in our example of apples at the grocery store, we could use the average weight in our sample of apples, a statistic, to estimate the corresponding average weight of all apples, a parameter. So remember, we get parameters from populations and statistics from samples. This is easy to remember because population and parameter both start with P and sample and statistic both start with S. We use statistics that we get from samples to estimate the parameters of populations. 